Hello and welcome to the part 7 of the Web API 2 tutorial with Entity Framework 6 and this is a part of a series of tutorials written by Mike Wesson and a number of other contributors from Microsoft. So today we will see how to create the view or the UI element and we will start to define the HTML for the app and add data binding between the HTML and the view model. Recall we have uh, connected the knockout JS library in the previous uh, part that was part 6 when we created the JavaScript client. So we will open the views home index.chhtml file that is the view file and I have copied the code previously and I will just highlight everything and paste with the new code. Save it. The most of the div elements are these are the div elements all of these div elements rather most of these div elements are there for the bootstrap styling. The important elements are the one with data bind attributes. This is a this belongs to the knockout JS library. This attribute links the HTML to the view model. For example, data bind within that paragraph, we have data bind text with the error. So what this says, text binding causes the paragraph element to show the value of the error property. This is the error property from the view model. Recall that the error was declared as ko.observable in the app.js yesterday. So error was declared as ko.knockout.observable. Whenever a new value is assigned to the error, knockout updates the text in the paragraph element. The for each binding, this for each binding tells knockout to loop through the contents of the books array. For each item in the array, knockout creates a new list item element. Bindings inside the context of the for each, for example, this one, refer to properties on the array item. For example, this one, span data bind, text colon author name. Here the text binding reads the author property of each book. Now, if we run the application now, let's run the application. Yeah, now it is right, it is loaded. So we see here that the list of books that are loaded, they are loaded asynchronously after the page loads, right? So page has loaded first and then books have loaded asynchronously. Right now the details links are not functional. These details links are not functional. However, we will add this functionality in the next section. Thank you for watching.